Welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's 2019. Like, literally, I'm so excited for this year. Like, oh my god. I cannot believe we've hit another year. Like, ticking off 2018. Let's move on to 2019. So, I just got back from camping. So I'm a little bit tired. So, excuse, like, everything. <laughs> So I thought I'd do like a full face tutorial for you guys today because I haven't done one of those in a little bit, in like a little hot minute. So I thought, why not? It's the first video of the new year, January 2nd. How exciting. Oh my god, like I, I still can't believe like guys, it's going to be a good year. It's going to be good. I'm so, so excited. It's like a trillion degrees right now. It's so hot. I've got the fan going, so hopefully we can make it through. You know, I just thought, maybe I might even do my brows really quick and then I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> so, brows are done. I also primed my lids as well. I bet you could tell because I'm like full yellow now. <laughs> so I put on my eye base. I just used the MAC, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Couldn't say that properly. Um, it's just a nice eye base, nice eye primer. So the eyeshadows that we apply on will stick a lot better. And let me just quickly zoom you in. Just so that the eye um, shadows that we apply on, they'll just apply more pigmented and blend more smoothly. There won't be any like veins or redness or any discoloration showing through, disrupting the true pigment. So I always like to prime my lids. It's up to you guys. I also carved out my brows today for like a first in a long time. <laughs> so we're all ready to go basically. So I have like an eye look in mind. It is really summer feels, summer vibes here. So I'm feeling summer colours, like maybe a bit of blue. Smoky eye, glitter, all that kind of jazz. I thought I'd do my eyes first for once because I'm always doing my face like very foundation first and my eye second. I always get fallout. I'm always like to myself, next time I'll do my eyes first and I never do. So today's the day. So I'm thinking I'm going to grab the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm feeling that like poolside shadow. It's so flipping beautiful. I feel like I might like play around with that kind of shade, maybe mix in a bit of the like sapphire blue. Like we'll just see how I feel. I have a few single shadows I want to use, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So basically for my transition colour, like I usually use, I'm taking silk cream and made for each other and just applying that with a fluffy blender brush through the crease. This is the Zoeva Luxe Soft Crease. I used to have the 227 crease brush, or the 228, I think it was, one of the two. But I can't find it, like the Luxe Crease Brush, my really, really, really fluffy one. I can't find it, so I'm just using the Soft Crease. But any fluffy brush will do. And I'm also just applying that to the outer corner as well. It's going to be like a nice makey eye, so... Just kind of building it up there where I want the shadow to be most pigmented. And then just blending whatever's left through the crease. I think I even might do a cut crease today, so um, I might just like keep the shadow focused here. It doesn't matter if it gets on the lid because I'm cutting it, so but yeah, we can apply it pretty messy, it doesn't really matter. So guys, what did you do for your New Year's cellars, like celebrations? Like, let me know in the comment section. I went camping with my family. Literally, I got back like half an hour ago, and I'm filming now because I'm gonna be so busy this week with work and catching up with my friends and stuff. So I'm not gonna have time to film. So I just want to get it done now so I have a video to put up. I have a few videos in mind. I I know last year. I said I was going to incorporate more natural makeup products onto my channel and well I didn't really do that. I was a bit slack last year. Um, I was saving for my trip and everything so I didn't really buy many products so this year I'm really focusing on incorporating like my vision for this channel because last year was a bit of a flop. I didn't really do that. So 2019 I have big plans. I'm just really excited. This is such a it's a fresh start. I have so many goals I want to achieve this year. I'm so excited. I was 10 subscribers off hitting my goal for this year, which is like 3,000. I had 10 to go, so I was like, oh, like I know I was I didn't quite hit it, but I was so close. I'm so happy I got 2,990 subscribers. And I'm really really grateful for all of you guys who've subscribed and joined my fam. You all mean so much to me, and I'm just so excited to take you along with this journey with me this year. So. It's gonna be good. So now I've built the transition through the crease and outer corner. I'm going to grab the next shade, 
which will be like a deep brown shadow. Yeah, I'm going to mix Butter and Roxy in. I'm just taking that through the outer portion and crease, like the outer corner and crease on that same fluffy brush. Yeah, I'm literally just using circular motions and then swiping motions and bringing it about two thirds of the way across. So yeah, like I said, tell me what you guys did for your New Year's celebrations. Did you go with friends? Did you have a night in? Did you have an early one? Stay up for the fireworks? Like, what part of the world are you from? Like, oh, I just want to hear about your guys' celebrations. Tell me what you guys got up to. Oh, I love this song. And just going back in with silk cream and made for each other on the very outer edges to super duper smoke it out. Just a smidge. Mmm, damn that smoky just gives me vibes right now. So I'm going to go deeper in the outer corner and crease. I'm going to take a more petite crease brush to achieve that. It's a nice just like bluffy dome brush. Um, and the shadow I'm going to take, I'll just take chip for now. I was thinking of mixing another shade, but I'm just not sure. But taking chip, I'm just going to dab it onto the outer portion of my eye and through the outer crease. Taking it in towards where that brown ends. So they all transition smoothly together. But I do want most of the pigment focused on the outer corner, and I'm just like dragging whatever's left towards. Um, in a corner but not all the way like I said keep about like two-thirds of the way and just dab it on drag it across and then I'm actually going to take what is that hunts and just kind of like blending out chip with that because I kind of want a bit of orangey brown in there and I'm just blending out the outer edges of it and then just taking some of butter and that other shade I can't remember what it was called, that other brownie shade that we used with butter. And I'm just softening the edges of Hunt's. It's in times like this that I wish I had more like lid to brow space because I always end up blending them like super high. But that's okay. And then on the fluffy brush again, I'm taking our transition colours the silk cream and um, made for each other and I'm just blending the edges again and just deepening up chip again before we cut the crease I just want it to be really pigmented on the outer part, portion of the eye so I just quickly like cut my crease I always like to use like a little flat eyeshadow brush or like an eye definer brush and I just use little stroke motions. I use my paint pot from MAC, the soft ochre one. I just cut the crease about three quarters of the way. And I always like to use my finger to blend it out so I'll cut the crease and then I'll go back at the very end and like just pat out the edges which blend into the shadow just so that they're more seamless and there's no harsh lines. And there we go. I've got like a pretty even cut crease I would say. Pretty even. Doesn't have to be perfect. I always tell myself it doesn't have to be perfect. Close enough, it's good enough. It is hot. It's hot. So I've got a few shadows, like I said, I want to use. I want to use that poolside shadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I also want to dip into, like, Pegasus here. That one looks pretty. In this Morphe shade here. You know, I also want to kind of dip into that kind of, like, sapphire blue shade in the palette as well. Like, that look kind of stands out to me a little bit. So I'm just going to play around and see how we go. So the first shadow, like I said, I'm going to grab is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette shadow called Poolside. So to apply it, I'm taking the Morphe MB16 brush and I'm just applying that on first. And then I'm going to take a more defined brush. And it is the Zoeva, like precise shader brush or something like that. And I'm going to kind of get that really close along the crease, the cut crease area where the shadows meet. I'm just going to dwindle out like where the brown is. I'm going to blend those two together in a sec. 
But I want the sapphire, like the deep blue, to be kind of down here. So I'm focusing more so of that Jacqueline shade towards the like the top of the cut crease. Oh, that is actually so freaking pretty. Oh, oh. So these are the two blues. This is the Morphe one. This is the Jaclyn Hill one. I think I'm leaning towards the Morphe one more. Or do I want to use the Jaclyn Hill one? I might stick with the Jaclyn Hill one. Just because like it's easier just to keep with the same palette for you guys. So I'm going to grab Twerk. And I'm going to place that um, just below where we placed Poolside. I'm kind of bringing it up, up a little bit. I'm obviously going to blend the two shadows together a bit. I want to bring the brown in a bit more and maybe bring the blue across so there's not so much of the sapphire. I just want a bit of a pop of that sapphire. Nothing too much. And I'm feeling like there's a little too much of it at the moment. So, yeah, so I'm just going to bring poolside across. I'm just kind of blending those two together now. And then just dipping back into Chip, and I even took a bit of Central Perk this time. P Park? Central Park this time. And just deepening up the outer point of the eye. I might even take some, actually, on that like precise shader brush too. And just carve out the top of that part of the crease a bit. Just kind of blend it out with a pencil brush. Bring some of that blue back, that deep, like, uh, sapphire blue. So I just quickly went and did the other eye. I'm really, so, like, I'm just so happy with how the eyeshadow has turned out. I think I might do, like, a wing. Just because like, I am going to be applying, like, false lashes. And I want the kind of, the thick lash band to be hidden in amongst there. Rather than just sticking out really obviously. If you guys are going to use, like, no lashes. Or, like, um, you're not comfortable doing wing liner. Then feel free to skip this step. I'm going to use my Hyper, Sh Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner from Maybelline and just do like a wing along the corner of my eye and back towards the inner corner. Like, you know, your usual wing. So I didn't want the liner to be too thick. I wanted it to kind of just be enough to cover the lash band but not cover too much of the eyeshadow. So I'm going to quickly apply my false lashes. So the lashes I'm going in with today are the Sultry Lashes from Anitude. And this is what the lashes applied. Oh, they're so flippin' pretty. Oh, they're so dramatic as well. They go so well with this eye look. <gasps> ah! Alright, so I'm going to quickly put a black eye coal in my tight line. Not my bottom waterline, though. I have a different idea for my bottom waterline today. So, for my bottom waterline, I'm going to take my Ocean Green Eye Coal from BYS. And apply that along the bottom waterline and then over top to really make it a vibrant pigmented color because this isn't that great like I don't really recommend the BYS eye coals I just have this one lying around so I'm going to use it um, I'm going to go over top with the poolside eyeshadow and just kind of set that coal liner in place as well okay before I continue on with the rest of the eyes I'm just going to do my complexion my face so the first thing I like to do lately with my makeup routine is apply these vitamin C drops to my skin. I apply it all over my face and also down my neck as well. Vitamin C is so good to help repair your skin from like sun damage and things like that from UV rays. And because it is summer and I've been out in the sun a fair bit, I have been getting a little bit sun kissed. So I would like to just keep my skin nice and healthy. So I apply just a couple of drops to my hands and, just rub and then I just rub it into my skin. The next thing I'll do is go in with a primer. I like to use my 100% pure natural primer. This one is the mattifying one because it is really hot outside and I do get quite oily in the best of times. So I like to use a mattifying primer to kind of try and keep my oils at bay. Sorry it's gotten so dark, like storms brewing. It's been so hot, like it's like one of those summer storms. I love it. So now that I've got my priming done, I'll just let it sink into my skin for a sec. The next thing I've been doing to keep myself matte during this hot summer weather is my Laura Mercier powder. I use this before I apply my foundation. And what I do is I apply just a little bit to the cap and I'll dip my face brush in there, tap off any excess. And I just like to go along the areas where I get oily and I apply some powder down. So it's like an extra barrier against those oils so that you don't get 
a nice oily cast all over your face. And I find this to be super effective in keeping my oils at bay, especially because I am super oily, guys. Like, I can't even describe to you sometimes. I just have this, like, like grease, like this layer of just, like, oil just sitting on my skin. So this has just been so handy in keeping that kind of, keeping my skin more matte, especially during summer. And then I like to take my Skindinavia setting spray. This is an oil control, so it's going to keep me nice and matte. And that's just my priming part done. So I do do a few steps, especially in summer. Winter is a lot more simpler because I don't get as oily. But because it is hot, my skin just likes to really accentuate its production of oils, like really go hard out. Now that the priming part is done, I'm going to go into with foundation. And the one I've been absolutely loving lately is my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation in the shade Medium Beige. I like to go in with my F80 Kabuki brush just to buff it out. I like to, I've been liking the brushes more so than my Beauty Blender lately. Just because I can really, really buff this into the skin. Now, I've been all about that cream like contour life I literally cannot put my hula bronzer down this is the hula quickie contour stick from benefit I've nearly finished this one so I have to purchase another one but I really 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 love this product what I do is I just place it on all the areas that I usually bronze so like my contour like my cheekbones forehead nose chin jawline all that good stuff you know and I go in with my foundation brush just to blend it in it just gives such a nice like warmth to the skin. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting because it's a bit like dark. But I hope you can see like it's just so, so natural and so good. I love cream contouring, especially cream bronzing. Like that's just my jam right now. So next I'll go in with my concealer and I've been using my Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline in the shade medium moin and applying that under my eyes, center of the face, under the cheekbones to really structure them out as well. And I'm just going in and blending it with my F86 tapered kabuki brush. And I kind of highlight the center of my face so like I'll bring the concealer down next to my nose and up in a triangle under my eyes to highlight that area. And I like to leave my nose contour and my cheekbones like um, last because it helps the product set in longer so it creates more of a defined line so it doesn't move the product around too much more it's kind of set in place there now what I've liked been doing I always do this in summer like I always want super glowy skin so what I've been doing is using this LA Girl Velvet Bronze Contour Stick over top of my bronzer to kind of give a bit of highlight or like your glowiness to the skin. I know I told you I want matte skin, but I like a controlled glow to the skin. So like I mattify my skin and then I apply glow on top where I want it. And I just blend it in with my tapered kabuki. Do you see that glow already? Like oh, that's what you want, especially for summer. But before I go on with the rest of the face, I think I might set everything. That's what I'm going to do. So to set the concealer and everything in place that I want, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder and on like a dry beauty sponge, I'm just pressing that under the eyes. It's kind of softly baking, so I'm not having any excess. I'm pressing it all under, like all into the skin. There's going to be no excess. And I'm just applying it anywhere that I applied the concealer down, especially in the center of my face where I get the most oily. I don't set like over the bronzer areas or anything like that because I'm going to go with a powder anyways and I don't want too many powders thin on my skin. But before I do go in with any more powder, I always like to go in with my Skintinavia setting spray again. Just spritz my whole face, like do a T-shape and cross shape just to lock the Laura Mercier powder in so it's really set into the skin. And to add actually a little bit of like a deeper contour to my face because it is quite a dramatic look and <laughs> I'm back into like the love of contouring again. I'm going to grab my breakout breakout <laughs> breakup powder from Makeup Geek. Yeah. Anyways, I'm grabbing my contour powder from Makeup Geek in the shade breakup. I'm going to apply it like to the cheekbones so I like, really chisel them out with my MP set blush brush. Before I do highlight and like lip colour, I think I'm going to finish off the eyes first. I want to zoom you in. <laughs> so I'm going to keep like the bottom lash line pretty simple. I'm feeling just bringing the crease colors onto the bottom 
wore it like lash line. So first of all, I'm going to grab my Morphe smudge brush. I'll take Chip and Soda Pop and use that quite close under my lash line. And then taking Roxanne on a pencil brush, I'm just going to smudge out those deep brown shades. And then I'm just taking Silk Cream and Made for Each Other on that first initial super duper fluffy brush. And I'm just like buffing out the edges so it's a bit more smokier rather than being so harsh. And finally for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with the shade and light. And I might even mix a little bit of beam in there as well. And I'm going to apply those two shadows to those areas. And I'm just using my precision shader brush to hit the bare hair points. Like, oh damn, that is a highlight in the hair. And that's the eyeshadows done. I'm just going to finish off with some mascara on my bottom lashes. And that's the eyes complete, guys. To finish off the face, I'm going to take my highlighter, which is in from Maybelline. It's their Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. I love applying this to the high points, but also all over like where I've bronzed on my cheeks, just because I love a glowy bronze look lately. Especially with the summer months, like I'm all about that glow. Then I'll do the same thing. I'll just do a smidgen of highlight to like the top of the brow not the center of my forehead guys because like I said I get oily here so I don't want to have too much highlight there and like the tip of the nose oh that's a bit much darling and of course can't forget that cupid so and then to get a bit of that like more natural like wet glowy look I'm going to take this diamond eye gloss from Kevin Aquan and just apply that just to the very high points of the cheeks and for the lips, I actually haven't thought that far through. Hmm, what do I want today? So I'm going to grab my eye call from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso because it's a nice deep brown shade and I love it to line my lips with. So I'm just going to quickly um, outline my lips with that. So I'm going to take my Clear Message Liquid Lipstick from Zawaver and apply that over top of the eye, the eye coal on my lips. I might nude the center of the lips with a gloss. Just because that's a very mattifying lipstick and I'd prefer something a bit glossy. And then to finish off, I go in with my Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Mist. It's literally so freaking good. It comes out in more of like a mist rather than a spray, which I prefer. Because it, when it comes out in like that harsh spray, it just like leaves dots all over your skin. So I really quite like it. This setting spray and plus it smells like cucumber so like who doesn't like that? I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. Make sure to leave a comment down below of what you want to see next, like a request, so I can gladly show you guys what you want to see. This year is all about you so I want to give content to you guys that you actually want to see. So yeah, just let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this dramatic summertime, evening appropriate, daytime appropriate even makeup look. I love you all so much and I can't wait to spend the next new year with you. I love you all so much. Mwah. Bye.